The Magical Forest and the Spider Who Built a Cardboard House Once upon a time, at Drummond's Enchanted Academy, there was a very special group of people. Jordan had the power of jumping. Brody had the power of baking. Paige had the power of painting. And Victoria could turn into a powerful Viking. Hunter had the power of hugs. Kaylin had the power of kisses. Lincoln had the power of loud laughing. And Jackson had the power of joy. John had the power of joking. Ariel had the power of astonishment. Brayden had the power of breakdancing. And Tate had the power of taste. Jack had the power of jubilation. Sloane had the power of slyness. Serena had the power of shock. <gasps> Caitlin had the power of karate. Last but not least, Easton and Ella had the power of encouragement. Miss Grover had the most powerful powers of all. She had the power of teaching and math, too. She would often chit-chat with her dogs, Presh and Mary, who were her loyal helpers. Miss Grover can be seen wearing pretty dresses. Whereas Mary can be seen in her cape and ladybug costume. They transform. Miss Grover would read her students' stories on their magic flying cab carpet that took them wherever they wanted to go. On one dark and gloomy day, an evil giant spider came and destroyed the students' garden. To make things worse, the huge spider mistook the children as tiny, tiny bugs. We have to do something, Serena said. Let's just get out of here, cried Sloane. Let me throw my water at him, yelled Tate. I've got it, Miss Groven said. I've got it. Let's take the magic cab carpet to Home Depot and buy a huge hunk of cardboard. We'll build the spider a huge home and maybe he'll leave us alone. They hopped on the cab carpet and flew to Home Depot. Once they came back, everyone chipped in and built the huge spider a huge house. The End